right now. Hold Tell on. me the story. Okay, this is the story. I'll give you an example. Mm. Okay. Um, okay, just like... Um, mm. Okay, look at um, the golden calf. Look at the, the story of the golden calf. Mm. So, they the people made the golden calf. Mm. And uh, <laughs> uh, was that around the time... Uh, was that the Ten Commandments or was that Abraham? I'm sorry. Mm. Um is look what it's trying to say is every time that there's a message that comes mm. satan comes and he tries to skewer that message he tries did, to mess did, it up he tried only or he would really or he would really did he really huh? put or he tried only huh did he was he successful to put in the mouth of muhammad no did of muhammad course speak? not of course not okay read with me this is tafsir al please okay hold on yeah <laughs> okay Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm reading now. Tell me to scroll down when you are, you know, like when you want me to scroll down for you. Okay. Is the whole uh, writing showing or not all? Uh, yeah, it is until uh, subsequently. At the okay, bottom, now it's so I'll let you know. I fix it. Go ahead. It's not being commanded. Can I read loud, please? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. This is a prophet who has been, oh, I'm sorry. And we did not send before you any messenger. This is a prophet who has been commanded to deliver a message. One who has not been commanded to deliver anything, but that when he recited the scripture, Satan cast into his recitation what is not from the Quran, but which those to whom he, the prophet, had, had been sent would find pleasing. The prophet had, during an assembly of the men of the Quraysh, after reciting the following okay. verses from Sir Al Najm, have you considered what is a manat? Third one, <clears throat> and as a result of Satan casting them into his tongue without his, the prophets being aware of it, the following words those are the high flying cranes. Okay, indeed, their intercession is to be hoped for. So they, the men of the Quraysh, were thereby delighted. Our later informed him the prophets of. This that Satan cast onto his tongue, and he was grieved by it. Okay, uh, what is this from? This is a Jalalain. So, Shaitan, he cast on the tongue of your <laughs> prophet, he cast, and he cast, yeah. sat he cast satanic verses. And then Jibreel, he said to him, he came to him to after, Jibreel, however, later informed him, the prophet, of that Satan had cast into his tongue and he was given agreed by it do you see it so you, you said to me he tried um, to verses, tempt what's that uh, you, you said to me you said to me the 20 uh, what is that there what 50 right there right after it says Al Utsa and Manat, the third one. Yeah, it says 53 19 received, to 20 what's that from this is different the, the chapter of a Najm. so your prophet was reciting chapter can you go to it no problem, but let's stay here first. You no, know, the chat, chatter of the gem, you can go that have nothing to do with this because supposedly this is taken from there. He's reciting to you that he was reciting and the when this happened in this verse. That's all. There's no point of reading that verse. I mean, he just actually he did read it for you. It says while he was reading that, do you know, do you consider the lat and al manat and al uzza and the and manat the, the, the third? Then this is chapter 53. Verse 19 and 20, he added as a result of Shaitan casting them into his tongue without the Prophet being aware of the following words. So he, Muhammad, he said that by his tongue. Those are the high flying crans of Al Gharaniq, Al Ula. They are the high goddess. <laughs> and the, indeed, their intercession is hoped for. So your Prophet in this moment. He worshipped the three daughters of Allah and he ordered his followers, including the whoever watching, that it's a must to ask them to intercede to Allah because they are his daughters. You said to me, Oh, they you know that he tried this is temptation, he tried to give me an example, but this is not what you scroll down a little bit. Hmm. Mm, uh, scroll down so I can read more. <laughs> Uh, okay. 
Okay. And by the way, just to show you how the Muslim they lie, I'm not talking about you now. It, it, the Ibn Kathir in Arabic is totally different from Ibn Kathir in English. They took the whole story off. If I show you right now Ibn Kathir in Arabic for the same story, you will see how the Muslims in the translation into English they deleted the whole story. It's not there. So now, what do you say, my friend? Did your prophet receive satanic verses and he did not notice? Uh, what is this? Um, what is this? Um, can you go up to the top? Not nah, don't go down, so I can read more. Go up to the top. Mm -hmm. What is this? Uh, this is Tafsir Jalalain. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan, and not my website. Here, if you go down, it says this is a translation of uh, Far uh, uh, Faraz Hamza Tafsir Jalalain by the Royal of Ahl al Bayt Institute, which means that the family of Muhammad Institute of the Islamic Thought Amman Jordan. All right. This is okay. an official Islamic <clears throat> government website. Now, as you see here, your prophet receives satanic verses. And now here, we want to ask you a question. As long as we, we, we came to the conclusion that this is really what happened. How we can trust Muhammad that he is not a satanic prophet? Well, see, you're showing me this here. I got to do some more research on this. But uh, we did like, the research. Me, here we go. I mean, I don't, did you do research uh, more than Jalalain? I mean, are you saying to me that you are more scholar no, than Jalalain? I'm just saying I'm not. I'm not going to jump to you know a conclusion because I don't. I don't do that. I usually. Um, okay. Let us go I'll by the, the story in front of us until you find me, my friend, my friend. Until you find me, until you do your study. For now, the story yeah. in front of us, based on this, how we can trust Muhammad to be a prophet of Allah? If Allah is God, not a prophet of Shaitan. There's countless reasons. Why? It's, that's kind of like a silly question. Why? Go. Hold on, guys. This is a silly question. If we just we have a proof from Islamic reference, even from the Quran, that Muhammad he received satanic verses, and then you are saying to me it is silly to think Muhammad is a satanic prophet, if he ag admit. That this is was not from his God, this is from Shaitan. And then the angel came to him and he says to him, According to Muhammad, you see, Allah said, Muhammad said, We have no witnesses. The only witnesses we have, according to the story, people they saw Muhammad praising the three daughters of Allah. Now, because of that, Muhammad he been exposed, he got busted. Okay, the only what I can think of right now until I do more research is this. Um, so just like okay i'm gonna go back to the example of jesus when he was fasting <clears throat> why you know why would he even be tempted if, if he couldn't sin you know what i'm saying or if he couldn't make a mistake tempted, or he see, up. Yeah, i read in translation the word tempted no, there, I'm, no, my friend, what I'm saying tempted, is like, tempted uh, as a past tense does not mean that he was tempted he tried shaitan he tried did, did yeah, jesus, he's like he did told jesus, them you know turn this rock into bread yeah, did he jesus told them, jump do off any, the edge and okay so the temptation you. is shaitan he yeah. wants something Jesus did not do what Shaitan he want. As simple as that. He, yeah. you're a prophet. He did no, what I know. Shaitan want. No, what I'm trying to say is, what, my, hold on, hold on, hold on, my friend. Because Shaitan the, the here, prophet, the Shaitan, prophet, Shaitan, hold on, he hold on. Here, you see that the danger here is yeah. not only Shaitan. He did not tempt Muhammad. Shaitan he spoke yeah. by the tongue of Muhammad. How that can be? Mm -hmm. Well, he he recited the verses is what it's saying there and no then problem. he no problem. later i am reciting okay my so friend he he I am gonna say, that it let us say i'm it, reciting i'm reciting the quran my friend i'm reciting the quran and i am a prophet then how shaitan can control the tongue of a prophet not the tongue of anyone how he can do that um <clears throat> maybe it was done for to him to show that he was uh human i don't know you know what i'm saying okay, I, hold on. I can't give you an answer okay, right I will now give, i will give an answer i will give an answer to prove to you that muhammad is satanic prophet read with me carefully yeah. what we will show you in this uh, screen hmm? okay uh, the quran said that shaitan has no authority except yeah. those who follow him shaitan have no authority over muslims Except those who follow Shaitan. Do you see? Hold on, that? English, English. You mean English? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So what the verse saying here? 
you have Allah speaking to shaitan saying to him you yeah. have no authority over my slaves who is the slaves of Allah anyone who believe in him correct the Muslims yeah okay yeah except those who who follow thee so shaitan he have no power over Muhammad unless shaitan and Muhammad are friends and Muhammad is following thee <coughs> No power over any of them, such save such of the word as follow the um, mm, that's problem here. That's disgusting. That's crazy. No, I see where you can see a problem there, but um, so you don't see any type of way that um, you could um, work yourself through this situation to see how he's a prophet of God. My friend, my friend, hold on, hold on. I mean, what, why, 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 why are, you know, you are an adult. Because, you see, no, because I, I, I'm what I see to you, you're doing you know, is Do you know why I did not hang up on you and, until now? Usually because you Hold on, hold on. You're, you're do, you intimidated. Know, do you know why I don't hang up with you? Because usually I lose my patience with Muslims and I, I can't take it no more. The reason yeah. I, you know, I find in a few, you are, you are like a, more reasonable than the rest you try to, to I'm get, trying you try to hide the stuff but you are still you have some honesty on you I feel it now I'm asking you the verse in front of you it's very clear it says you have yeah. no authority no the only authority. thing I could see is that he's not following him because that's the whole point he's not hold following on hold him. on hold on no no the verse the other verse proved to us that he's following him because you have no authority over my slaves except those who follow thee how shaitan was able to control the tongue of Muhammad the verse here saying that shaitan have no authority over anyone who is a normal Muslim what about someone he is a prophet of Allah so you have no authority over my slaves you have no power except only those who follow thee not tempted by the they follow yeah. they follow so here Muhammad in order to be under the authority of shaitan he have to be from one who follow thee if the Quran is the book of God and God is saying the yeah. truth I'm gonna I'm gonna ask around to see because that it means uh, one of two things it means that either you know <laughs> because it says here that he has no power of any of, the, of them unless they follow him so it means that either he didn't say those verses because he has no power or it means that he did say the verses and there's the problem like, like you're saying so <clears throat> that's why some people don't accept those verses because friend, of this verse friend, right here friend, you know what i'm saying the verse the verse is, the problem is do you speak arabic no i don't okay. speak arabic the problem you don't speak arabic in arabic it says it clearly that he received the verse because in arabic it says that whatever a shaitan he cast into the tongue of the prophet allah will take it away it doesn't say if shaitan he try it says whatever shaitan he did allah will yeah. take it away so we cannot say uh, i'm going to research i'm going isn't to that kind of like when you know if you like say a cuss word that's kind of like a bad word but then you ask but for my friend my friend all that takes it away my friend you, you, let us be honest here he is reciting quran yeah okay the word of god should be protected by god this is a special thing is not I'm talking to you okay sometimes I, I make a mistake I want to let us say a mother she want to call her son instead of calling Ahmed she called Muhammad correct <laughs> yeah. okay but this is a different story here here we have a special delivery of the Word of God so how Allah preserved his words he should not allow anyone to play with them here we have a big problem nobody can and no one can have authority over my slaves except those who they are bad the criminals those who follow yeah. thee and then we find that shaitan he control Muhammad secondly my friend and I want you to be honest with me how I know that this verse itself the one it says that whatever shaitan he cast Allah will take it off how yeah. do you know that this verse itself is not made from shaitan himself Because to make us comfortable now, okay, here we go. You got me busted. Obviously, this is sent at first. So let me make a verse for you, and I will say whatever he said, I will take it off. How we know that this is not this one, even this one is not from Shaitan, just to make me relax and say, Don't worry, be happy. The Shaitan, yes, he cast a cast in the mouth of Muhammad, but we will take it off. Uh, 
Um, I don't know, man. On this one, I don't, I don't know much about this. Mm. You know, okay. this is my first time I'm, taking. I'm, uh, I'm just, I'm just walking with you step by this step. I, I'm walking with you step by step. Now listen to this. If there is a guy, if you are a judge in a court, hmm? if yeah. you are a judge in the court, and somebody says to you that this witness he imagined things happening, do you accept him to be a witness? So I'm sorry. Say it one more time. Somebody he imagined things happening. He imagined okay. he have an illusion, you know, okay. he have a mental yeah. illness. Do you accept him to be a witness in the court? Uh, no. Why? So he's like schizophrenic. Okay. So isn't it your prophet? He's suffering from the same issue according to your prophet? Uh, no. Read the hadith with me. <laughs> Why are you are laughing at you? Laughing? Are you laughing at your prophet now? Come on. That's not right. I mean, show respect, please. Show respect. Please, guys, please tell this guy to show respect, not to laugh at his prophet. <laughs> no, man, I'm laughing. No. Because already you got your prophet busted. You said you will not accept him because he have what? Shofrenesia? You said that, right? I don't know how to say it correctly. Say it again, please. How you say that word? Uh, schizophrenic. Schizophrenic. Okay, that's a, that's a big yeah. word for me. I, I need a, like a week to learn that. So your prophet obviously is suffering from the same issue. How we can guarantee that when he says that he is receiving satanic verses, he is just not just a madman, or even in the in the in the best scenario, he is really receiving satanic verses. How we can trust this man is even seeing God or seeing an angel, or he is receiving the Quran. How you can trust him? You just say to me, I will not accept him even in a court, in a normal court, like somebody uh, witnessing for anything. It's just a stupid court. Yet you accept such a guy to witness for you, for God. Yeah, I've never seen this one. Okay, so what we would do now? What do you think? Uh, that's tricky, man. I don't know. And by the way, this is Sahih. We cannot say it's weak. Yeah. Okay. Now, additional thing. What about Muhammad? Even his sex was 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 not true. Is what? Even his sex, he never had sex for real. He imagined having sex. <laughs> well, you are laughing. Show respect, my friend. Come on, <laughs> read carefully with me. The prophet, oh, okay. the prophet continued for such and such a period of time, imagining that he had sexual relationship with his wives, but in fact, he did not. Like like a wet dream or something? No, 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 no. That's not no. That's not dream. No, that's not dream. He he think he think he did in, in daytime. He think he is having sex, but in in fact, is not. Hey, does this have a number? This. Uh, oh yeah, sure, sure. Here we go. I will give you. Just so I can like screenshot, you know. Yeah, no problem. This is Sahih Bukhari, Hadith number six zero six three. Do you see it? Uh, let me put this in notes. Book number. You said what was it? Six zero six three. Hmm. Okay. So now what we would do, my friend? You see, I'm. I'm uh, honestly the re the only reason I did now I did not hang up on you because first you let me talk and we can talk both of us. We don't shout over over each other. Secondly, I'm seeing on you that somebody trying to find out. Maybe Christian Prince is not lying. Maybe you know. Let us see if he is. Maybe I'm showing you in the screen what I'm I, saying. I respect you. Okay, I respect okay. you. you know? So, my friend, can you accept really a person? You are the one who said you will not accept a person who imagined things to be a witness in the court. And the yeah. proven from Islamic stories, the one is witnessing here is the wife of the prophet. I mean, this is not an enemy. This is not a, the, this is the most respectful women in the history of Islam actually for the Muslims So how in the world we can accept Muhammad to be a prophet read with me what hadith here it says do you see that it says bewitched? Yeah, okay, what bewitched mean you know in your definition? Bewitched that's <laughs> like uh, uh. Um, 
What website is this? This is sunnah.com. Okay. Um, Bewitch is like um, possessed, I guess. Okay. What possessed me? <laughs> I need your help, my friend. You see, English is not my first language. It's kind of like uh, um, controlled by a force, yeah. By Under evil, magic, by yeah. evil, right? By evil, correct? By evil force. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, evil force is what? Isn't it satanic? Yeah, evil force is satanic, okay. too. But isn't it that verse it says that you have no authority over my follower except those who follow thee? Yeah. Okay, how shaitan was able to control Muhammad. So shaitan proving from Islamic resource that shaitan controlling Muhammad not only his tongue, his brain. To the point he imagined, he is a delusionate, and he imagined things happening, but in fact they never happened. But the Quran confirmed, if the Quran is the book of God, then the book of God should be saying the truth. And there's no exception. No authority you have speaking to shaitan except those who follow thee and those who follow thee they will go to where they will go to hell do you see it yeah so based in this verses until now muhammad is going to hell guarantee yeah i, I understand your point here <clears throat> are you leaving um, islam now or you will leave it tomorrow Huh? Are you leaving Islam now or you will leave Islam tomorrow? Well, I mean, I don't uh, well, I I want to I want to ask, you know, some people about this and see what they have to say because My friend, let me ask you. What people they will say to you? I'm showing you the Islam I don't know. Life. I mean, uh, who, who you will ask who? Who is better than Sahih Bukhari? I will tell you what they will say to you. The brother, brother, this is a false <laughs> story, brother. Brother, the prophet did not do Okay, come on. The books, all Islamic books saying that. I mean, what false story? Even the Quran saying whatever shaitan casts, Allah will take it off. How he will take it off if it's not there? I mean, it's funny. It's going to say, I'm going to take it off, but there's nothing to take off. That is even stupid. That will make the Quran a stupid book. So the Quran confirmed the story. The Hadith confirmed the story. And the interpretation of the scholars confirmed the story. In the same time, we have Sahih al-Bukhari confirmed that the Prophet was bewitched. And by the way, bewitched is bigger than just casting a verse of, uh, of in the Quran. Because bewitched, that means... What's the word in Arabic? Uh, uh, what, in, in Arabic? Yeah. Suhira Rasul. Suhira. Hmm? Hmm. Right? So here okay. we, have, we have a bigger problem. Okay? Here it says... أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم سحرة حتى كان يخيل إليه أنه صنع شيئا ولم يصنعه. So the prophet uh, 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 of Allah was bewitched to the point he imagined himself doing something. In fact, he did not. Okay, what if Muhammad he was imagining that he saw Jibreel? What if Muhammad was imagining he was receiving? Well, he couldn't have imagined that he saw Jibreel. He saw, you know, something. It wasn't that was an imagination. Why not? Well, because he couldn't read or write, so something was giving him the knowledge. My friend, my friend, what can I? What, I mean, what does this have to do with reading or write? Let me let me tell you something. The no, because a man cannot just come up with that randomly, you know. No, he can. The Quran is the most silly, stupid book. What are you talking about? You see, because for you, I'm not insulting. No, there's a lot of scientific things in it. What's so scientific? Okay, show me one. Okay, hey, oh, hold on, guys, hold on. I, our friend here, it's, his conversation is getting even nicer. This is my challenge. Yeah. Be for me one scientific, anything you wish, the best you have, and I will get it busted in in in, in less than a minute. Okay, go to um, hmm. Surah Al Ankabut. Al Ankabut. Okay, what about what it says? Um, <coughs> what was it? It was um, <coughs> in the verse Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala says um, about um, those who take protectors other than Allah hmm. is like that of uh the spider who builds his house, hmm. the flimsiest of houses. And uh, in that verse, it's the Arabic conjugation, the female, it's the female conjugation of um, the spider building the house. And 
they didn't know that the the female spider builds a house but nowadays we do <laughs> there's one um, okay okay my friend can you give me the verse to be sure that we are talking about the same thing um hold on It is it's a uh, Quran 2941 okay it's in the front of me where it speak about the female anchor I want to see that 2941 hmm. where it says the word female anchor boot where they got you where, where who is the liar who said that to you unto herself a house where is her son what her house she taketh unto herself a house what she this is the translation in Arabic it doesn't say that what does it say no it says it that al ankabut it that it took my friend in Arabic in Arabic Arabic language this is how yeah. this is how silly the liars who lie to you my friend in Arabic we say to all spiders we call them ankabut it doesn't matter it's a male or a female the same are the ant we call it namla you understand me? Yeah. The same as Nahla, which means bees. So there is certain certain insect we call them. This is an Arabic word used by uh, have nothing to do with male and female. So they lie to you and they make it a miracle. In fact, it is a mistake, and I will show you why it's a mistake. It says okay. the likeness of those who choose other patrons, then Allah is the likeness of the spider when she takes, according to the translation into herself a house and lo okay and okay. the 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 uh, the, 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 fearless, the fearless uh uh fearless of houses is the spider of house actually it is the most strong house and i'll explain that to you you see when okay. you compare when you, hold on hold on, hold on, yeah, hold on, hold on. i know hold about on. this way no, no, before we finish before uh, finish my friend let me show you the mistake three. let me show you the mistake before we you know when we compare do we compare my house to a house of uh spider or I compare a house of a spider to a house of other insect um, Well, it's saying you know because the woman builds it and there's uh, you know my, the man no is the women, head of the There's house. no women my friend the same so, like, the same the same also, lie eats, my friend my friend the, the okay. male after my they friend my friend if kids. you go if you go to dictionary you can go right now take the dictionary You will see the word ankabut is okay. What is the word ma a male for ankabut then? Teach me. No, it's when, when <laughs> she builds. No, doesn't say builds, that. Right? Doesn't say that, my friend. This is a female word, which means this is a this is a word we use for a spider. It's a female word, the same as we say. Like we, there's certain words we say nahar. Nahar is not a, a female word, but is the nahar, which means river. Is it a male? It is not. In the language, in Arabic language, we have male and female words. So insects, most of them, we call them female as an example uh, uh we say namla no but the point in this verse was supposed to be that she taketh that she takes how did they how did they how did no how it did, says so how, did they, how did he know that no it's not it she, take it. Spider. It's, she it's take not it she take it okay do you want me to show you the interpretation it says there's no way it says that this is about she and he Come on, my friend. It's a female spider. It yeah. is not. It's not. It's a lie. It's a lie. Nowhere. What here do you it mean? Says, it says right there. It is she not. This, is a, trans herself. this uh -huh. is a translation. It says in Arabic, it, 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 it took, you know, I can show you. Okay, I will take the whole word. Here we go. Do you see the word here? No, no, okay, no. Take on, no, no. from uh, of this, the, this the spider the when she takes it on herself. Yeah, yeah, this is the word. This is the word. The word. Right? Not the word. No, no, no. This is the word. They are translating the word she took from the word. This is the word they are translating that. So they say she took, but the f the fact here there's no she, and there's no, no female. No, I don't think that was the word. My friend, it's in the front of you. Where is the word she female and kaboot? Where is where it says that? I if I show you now the the uh, dictionary, do you agree with the dictionary? No, I don't think it's that Arabic word, but I forgot what it was. So let's go to the next verse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next verse. What verse? Give me. Okay. Uh, Quran 86 <laughs> verse 1 to 3 okay 86 <laughs> 86 1 to 3 okay all right 
Quran 86 verse 1 2 3 okay what is where is the uh, are you sure uh, sorry 86 you said 86 86 yeah. okay are you sure you want to choose this one I warn you this is a bad one very bad choice <laughs> I'm telling you I mean this is horrible you have a horrible choice now but anyway it's up to you go ahead what is the, what is the oh, hold on hold on hold on hmm. go ahead read it no 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 this is the same verse, my friend. It says that the women, the women, no, no, no. she have Hold a sperm on. coming from her ribs, and no, the men no, have a sperm. One, no. Hold on, what well, you mentioned, it doesn't stay here. No, I same. gave you the wrong. Verse. Okay, my friend, my friend, hold on. Hold on, as long as we are here, is it? This is the same verse saying that the women she has. No, a but sperm. did you know that? Did you know that uh, actually the uh, the the ovaries and the the testes are actually up. My friend, what they're the ovaries? Up the Stop! They you drown. see the Muslim, they are lying to you, my friend. This is about the man and the women, and who knows the Quran better than the Prophet? Tell me, who can explain the Quran more than the Prophet? Do you know more than him? No. Okay, what if I show you what the Prophet explained this? This is about um, Tariq. You know Tariq, the star. Even this one is a mistake. How? Okay, because simply Muhammad. Okay, you see. The, what the problem is the Muslim they you know what people that okay, one up hold on hold on okay let us go no problem here we go chapter 86 <coughs> here we go yeah no I lost you sorry okay The star of Tariq is a morning star, which is nothing what the Muslims they speak about. The Muslims they say, No, it's the knocker. It's, it's no, like the, no, the knocking. No, yeah, actually, no, they, a tariq, yeah, my, my friend, like a, a tariq, do you know what Tariq means? The one who knock at the door, the visitor. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. A Tariq in yeah. Arabic have nothing to do with what they say. Here we go. It's in the front of you. Does it, does it, does it, did you see the interpretation? Uh, yeah. Mm. Is it the morning star? Oh, so the morning star. Yeah. So why they are lying to you? Suddenly they change it. They find something. I thought it was the knocking star. See, no, no, it's not. It's, it's you see. Let me tell you something. All those articles you can go, go read my book Quran and Science and Depth. I get them busted all. So they lie. They take. Give something. me, give me five seconds. I'm unplugging. Put in my charger. One second. Hmm. All right. <laughs> so as you see, everything you get. Give me another one. Let us switch to something else. I, I, I will keep going with you. Maybe you can find something finally. Finally, maybe something truthful. Not all of them, they are lying. On speaker. Different one. Give me a different one. What was it? Give you another one? Yeah, give me. Maybe it goes until now. All what you said to me, it turned to be false. Okay, how about um, the center of the earth is made up of uh, mostly iron, a little bit of nickel. It's made of mostly iron, and then the okay, center what, of the crown. What, is, what, uh, verse? what verse? Huh? What verse? Go, chapter fifty-seven is Al Hadid. Hmm. It says what? That, then that, huh? Explain to me what it says. So the so Al Hadid that's iron, right? Hmm. So m meaning that the creator, the center of the both of creation, so the, the center of the book, what it says, and then the center of the earth. What it says that exactly? Iron. Do you know? No, it's the name of the chapter because half well, there's 114 chapters. I know, but where, half, but half of 114 where, is 57. Where it says where it says that is center of the earth. Where it says that? Oh, the center of the earth is. Uh, look it up, Google. Google. No, 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 where, where in the Quran it says that this is a, the center of the earth. Where it says that? Well, no, it's the center of the Quran and then the center of the earth. They're the same thing. Iron. What center of the Quran? This is not the center of the Quran. So how how that yeah, can be center 57. of the Quran? Oh, hold 57. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. Do, do you know mathematics? Yeah. Okay. The Quran is how many verses? It's 114 chapters. Okay, what is the middle of it? 57. No, that's not true. Let me let me let me teach what do you. you mean? Some, let me teach you some mathematics, my friend. Half of 114 okay, is my 57. My friend, no, no, no. Here we go. You see, when you say okay, 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 first of all, first of all, the Quran, which is you have today, the numbers have nothing to do with the Qurans of Muhammad. If we go to according to Revelation, is it going to be the same? It's not. Have you ever heard? Huh. Uh, have you ever heard that the Quran you have today is not according to revelation? Yes or no? Um, yeah, 
I've heard that. But okay, uh, what is the number according to Revelation? But then even if they put it together like no, that, friend, how they friend, still no, no, my friend, my friend, my friend. This is Osman. The people who work for Osman, they put it this way. So are you saying to me that the one who put it, they better than Allah? Because Allah, he put it in different order. You Muslims, you change it, and now you are saying to me it is in the half of the Quran. Yeah, but how do you know that they didn't put in the order that Allah wanted them to? No, that's mean they are prophet too. That's mean they are inspired by Allah and they are prophets. That's well, inspired, Allah, but not that's mean, No, that's mean they are. They are prophet too. Now here we go. This is the Quran according to Revelation, and let us see where is the chapter of Al Hadid. The chapter of Al Hadid. Here we go. Let's go in here and search fifty-seven. Okay. All right. Okay. The real number of 57 according to Revelation is a chapter of Luqman. Do you see it? Uh, yeah, okay, so now we go and well, we're not done actually let me show you something stupid here You see they are the one who mentioned this so we have to deal with it now You can you cannot, okay. you can, you cannot escape it. Sorry. I mean you are the one who brought this to yourself So you 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 gave me a verse saying that this is a proof that Allah is God This is a proof that Allah is false read with me carefully Yeah, it says what? And we send with them the book. This is a translation here says approved. Doesn't say that by the way. It say okay, actually it says the albayinat, yeah, which means like uh, the clear evidence, okay. And the, and reveal to them the scriptures and the balance that mankind observe a uh, 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 right measure. And he revealed the iron, the fact it doesn't say that. It says in Arabic, and we send down the iron. Yes. Okay. When he's, yes. Okay, hold on. Let's hold on. send down. You know, iron doesn't come from the earth. F you false. know, it takes like 150 million degrees false, to form iron. No, no, this is false. That's not what the science says. Science no, says, it's true. No, no, no I, true. I know what the science says. You can search right. We can search right now on Google. According to science, you know, we wouldn't have the friend, ozone layer, finish. we wouldn't have friend, the down friend, radiation belts, finish. no friend, hemoglobin friend, in our blood. My friend, we send down my iron means friend, that my friend, sent it from my the stars. Friend, hold on. According to science, and we can search right now in Google, and what we'll show you in the screen that according to science, that the, the crust on the crust, there's big percentage of the iron on the crust, not the earth. On the crust, yeah, was uh, coming as a metal. But said, look what happened here. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. What happened? It says we send you iron for mighty war. Hold on. What are you talking about? This was the verse is saying. No. It says we send the iron for mighty war. <laughs> mighty power. No, it says mighty war. What are you talking about? But essentially, this is for war. Do you want? Do you want? Do you, you want barely to, sent our do, message. Do you want me to You're show you the interpretation? Do you want me to show you the interpretation? That's my, mighty power. What are you my, okay, about? let me show you the interpretation here. Go on, let's see if this is true or not. You see, Christian prince, don't say things without proof. Chapter 57, verse number 25. Here we go. This is your official government website. Okay. Okay. It's about war. So that's mean the man was there first, and then the, the Aaron came. In the same verse, it says that we send down the books. So Allah He always sent, and not only that, I will show you a verse saying that Allah He sent down feather. Feather. I mean chicken don't have feather. Yes, feather. I will show it to you. Okay, here we go. This is a chapter 57, verse number 25. And this yeah, but is, don't you do you understand what it's supposed to mean though? My friend, I understand. Here we go. Okay, Re read with me carefully. Okay. Which translation what what interpretation you like me to show you? Uh I don't care. You don't care, okay, no problem. All right. And we send down iron we caused it to be extracted uh, 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 from mineral ores were in a great might which may wage war wage battle as many use uh, uses for mankind you see it so yeah. Allah saying that he sent you the iron so you can kill people now here look what it says in the Quran it says that we send down the proof we send down the book we send down the scale did Allah send the scale? No. And then he and then he says, and we send down the Aaron. Anything Allah created, he say in the Quran, we send down. And I will give you the proof of that. They lie to you and they claim that this is about sending down Aaron from the sky. The fact, no. Let us see how we can prove that not true. If we go in the Quran,
one of the problems <coughs> Muslims uh, 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 suffer from but they don't know they don't speak uh, don't speak Arabic you know the Quran yeah. says we send down on them be bass and warish he has a verse up right now okay I'm, I'm uh, the, the 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 website for some reason froze let me try a different okay. website hold on Do you accept that Jesus prayed like Muslims do today? Let's change topic, please. No, I'm just asking. Oh, children of Adam, we have revealed into you the remnant or to cancel your shame. Okay, so Allah He sent down. You see the translation is here. We send. We we reveal. The fact doesn't say that. It says we send down. Change the translator. It says Allah. Anything you have, it says we send down. We send down. Here He He said we best would. We bestwood. What bestwood mean? Like we have given. Okay. No, in our in Arabic it says "waqad anzalna." This is exactly the same written in that in, about the Aaron. "Anzalna alaykum libasan yuwari sawatakum," and we send send down on you. Change the translation. Let us see. We keep changing from one to one. Shakir. Here we go. This guy. Do you see it? We have indeed sent down to you clothing to cover your shame. Okay, in the top of that it says, uh, 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 here they, they cover that. They, they, it doesn't say, they didn't say, Rish, 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 and uh, Fidr. Rish, the word Rish is Fidr. This is the word Rish. So, so it says the same thing. It, it, no, the translation is wrong. They, 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 no, they hide the, the same word. thing as the Hadid. I yes, we sent down clothes. Did, did Allah send you clothes, really? <laughs> You see, I'm, you see, we're trying to have an honest discuss, discussion. With, they die to you. So, how come if if that one, if that one, it says we send down, and this one we it says send down. So how here they did not say, okay, we discovered that the underwear I have is sent down by Allah. <laughs> right? Yeah, I it's see a, what you're a lie. And not only that, here they hide in the translation. There were the word reach according to the Quran. Allah even reach, which is feather. Allah He sent down. Even even feather, which means the chicken was naked, and Allah He sent her a package in Amazon, and she received her feather. You see, the word feather is gone. I cannot find it. I cannot find one translation saying the word feather. I'm changing the translation from one to one. You know, not even one of them is coming with the word feather. Yeah, where is the word feather? I don't see it. So they lie to you. You see, they, they are desperately trying to find a place where they can make a science out of nothing. Give me another one. Let's continue. Until now, we found zero. Um, okay, I got to find the verse. I know which one I want to. <laughs> Um, sir, a tuck Okay, 81 15 to 21. That's What the verse saying 15 to 21. What, the, what, the, okay, tell me what is what, uh, what the miracle there. <laughs> Hold on, let it load on the screen, okay. Okay. Um, does it say? Um, so I I looked it up on uh, Quran dot com. I think it is here, mm. or Legacy Quran dot com. Mm. And it says that the translation here says, uh, "So I swear by the retreating stars." For verse, mm. 
Um, it says that, and then it says first, those that run first, the courses first, and first, disappear. This is, this is not a star. This is a planet. It says planets. Yes. It doesn't Al say stars. Al Khunnas is not a star. It's a planet. Secondly, Al Khunnas is a very well known by 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 the Muslim by by the Arab at that time. Muhammad is just judging what the Arabs see in their eyes. No, hold on. Go back to the verse. Okay, the verse. Here we go. I'm gonna tell you what it was. Okay. Okay. So, uh, uh, in this tra any other translation, it was for the stars, but it's um, hey, my friend, for the if, planets okay. that ever seen. Even, even if they are stars, let me show you here. There is a mistake. There's it's a mistake. Uh, okay. the scientists nowadays. They see no, that no, no. You um, see, when they're you see, well, everything the in the universe is expanding outwards, my and they used to think that was static. That is a lie. This is not what it says. I have nothing to do with with any of what they are saying there. You see, the planets that recede. You know, they are moving friend, away. My friend, my friend. As long, okay. You want you want to talk about the the shape of the planets. You want to talk no, about no, no, no. It means like that, like from us, no. everything is moving out, like the universe is expanding. So, like the planets that recede, like every okay. other planet but around us is but moving away. But your prophet said, your prophet said that the the Earth is getting close from the sun. Huh? Huh? Your prophet he said that the the Earth is getting close from the sun. Actually, the sun getting is getting close, close to it. The, the sun is going to get get close to us, and the, in the judgment day, the sun will be so close, and to the point we will be sweating, and our sweat will be covering our our uh, almost uh, our our ears. So, this is a lie. Same time, if if the Muslims are being honest in anything they say, when you speak about the space, who know better the space than Muhammad? No, Let but it's see. true that everything is moving away, though. Okay, my friend, universe. my friend, my friend. No, no, everything is moving away. True, 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 my brother. True, true, true. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna go with you, but this is not what the Quran says anyway. Let us say, regardless if it's true or not, I don't care really what science says. I am asking you right now. Do you know what the Quran and what Allah meant better than your prophet? No. Okay. Where the sun goes every day, as long as everything go away. Okay. Where the sun goes every day. Where does it go? Yeah. Nowhere. What do you mean nowhere? The sun is right there. It just stays there. Mm. But your prophet, you don't agree. Let's see. This is your prophet speaking. Read with me. Let me make it more clear for you. Not when the sun sets until it's right. So here we go. Your prophet here saying that yes, the stars goes away. I agree with you now. Are we happy? <laughs> and then eight time will come when you're about to pray. Hmm? Are we happy? Finally, we find something true. Muhammad, he said the stars goes away. The sun is a star, and the sun every day. We travel from point A to point B and sleep where? Do you know where to sleep? The sun, where the sun sleep where? It goes till it prostrates itself underneath the yeah, throne. Where, where, where is the throne of Allah? Where is the throne, where is the throne of Allah? Do you know? Um, well, that's I don't I don't find a problem with that. Hold on. That's, what do you mean you don't find a problem with that? Are, then, no, hold on. Oh, wait, let me read. Hold on, and then. Not be accepted. Um, what's the context of this verse? What's it explaining? What's the no, nothing, my friend? Muhammad is leaving the mosque, and he asked because Muhammad is a scientist. He worked in NASA. He wanted to teach those ignorant Arab where the sun goes. <laughs> so he said to his follower, the one who was with him, Abu Dhar. He said to him, "The Prophet asked me at the sunset, do you know where the sun goes?" See, the guy is not even asking him, but Muhammad, he cannot stop sharing his knowledge because it's amazing. <laughs> okay. So at the, sun, at, at, the, at the time of the sunset, I replied, Allah and his apostle know better. So Muhammad, he got his knowledge from Allah. There's no way he's going to make mistake. In, we associate the, name, the knowledge of God with the knowledge of a man. His name is Muhammad. He said, it goes. Who? The sun, i.e. travel, till it's portrayed itself underneath the throne of Allah, the throne, and take permission yeah. to rise again. And it's permitted. Then the time will come when it will be uh, brought straight, which means the sun will ask again for permission and will not accept it, but will ask will will, will be will be order. It says here, 
it will be asked permission to go in its course but it will not be permitted but it will be ordered to return whence it has come so it will rise from the west so it came from where to Allah it came from the west now let me let me draw this for you so we can we can have a better understanding for this hadith all right just for the better understanding the Sun is here let us draw this the Sun now is here your prophet is here he is with his friend in his donkey this is Muhammad and his friend Muhammad he said to his friend the Sun do you know where the Sun goes okay actually I should put the Sun sorry in the other direction because now the Sun is in the West supposedly so I will make it here so the Sun is here and the Sun now is going down and Muhammad he said to him now the Sun is going to prostrate itself under the throne of Allah so the throne of Allah have to be in the West based on Muhammad explanation because going to the West so Allah throne is here and now the Sun will be down the throne of Allah and then in the morning that before the morning come the Sun will ask Allah to go a raise again from the East and will be permitted but at the end of the time Allah will say no go back from where you came from which means she came from the West last time now we go back from the West and we will raise or what's going to be rose from the West so why the Muslims they are busy speaking about science and the Quran and by the way this is confirmed in the Quran isn't it the Quran says that the Sun sit in the murky water yeah but that that's like uh when you see like that um and it looks like water you know what I'm saying yeah but it does it say that it, the Sun set in the murky water yeah I know okay is that a scientific mistake or this is uh, something you think it's right um, how the Muslims, it might be figurative you know how the Muslims explain this do you know how I, I will help you the Muslim they say oh this is from uh, the eye perspective of uh, the guy Al Khadr yeah but it doesn't say that read, read me carefully my friend who is the one is talking now Allah huh? Allah says they ask thee ask who Muhammad a bunch of Jews ask Muhammad about the Quran the man with the two horn I mean have you ever heard of a guy his name the man with two horn what his name we don't know obviously he's talking about is the great say I shall recite to you you are remembrance of him who is talking until now Allah Lu, we made a strong in the land and we gave him into everything a road so Allah is the one leading him and then okay. till when he reach do you see something wrong with me here my friend uh, who's talking okay Allah is talking he reached where he reached the sitting place of the Sun does it say that yeah okay how you can reach that setting place of the Sun he found it was sitting now before you continue he found it sitting in murky water but before we go we are trying just to analyze you know to understand when you say I reach the sitting place of the Sun it's mean it's a place correct yeah okay so now it's quick it's confirmed that the one is talking speaking about what happened to this guy is not the guy says I thought I reached but the Allah is talking he until until what until he reach a point what is that where the Sun set so when they try to fabricate the interpretation they say oh this is from the eye perspective it is not Allah is not Allah saying that the verse is so clear it says until he reached the sitting place of the Sun it's a location so the guy he was following a road guiding by Allah until he reached the sitting place this is a this is a place he reached and then he found it not he thought not he saw it he found it when you say he found it I'm reporting a fact is that correct yeah okay so now he found it sitting in the muddy water is that accurate 
Do you believe? Um, no, the sun does not do that. Okay, so why? You, how do you think this is from God? I mean, what explanation is the smarter Muslims? Okay, who is, who is a smarter Muslim in history? The smartest? Yes, the top. <laughs> uh. Muhammad, maybe? <laughs> Muhammad? Of course. Okay, what if I show you what Muhammad said? What you would do? Let's see. Okay, let us see. Because now the Muslim they will say, Oh, Muhammad, obviously, he's an idiot. He did not know what he's talking about. Here we go. This is your prophet explaining the verse. I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah, SAW, SFM radio station, who was riding a donkey <laughs> while the sun was setting. He asked, Do you know where this set? I replied, Allah and his apostle knows best. He said, it's set in a spring of warm water. Oh. And this is the interpretation of the smartest ever Muslim. Have you ever had another Muslim try to tell you what this means? The, the, um, all Muslims are the same for me, my friend. Like, you see, you are a nice person. That's why I did not hang. I, I'm actually, I'm surprised. I mean, how in the world you, I survived to talk to you all this time without hanging on? Because usually, I, I'm like, you know, uh, uh, everybody knows, like, in the last two weeks, I have blood pressure from shouting, screaming. So, uh, uh, when we talk to Muslims, the second you show them something stupid, they start screaming, shouting, they will not let you read. I mean, <laughs> but you are not doing that and I respect that on you now you tell me what is that now let, 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 let us assume they will say to you this is Daif it's not you know the story right you know the, you know the story of Daif Sahih, you know you know the story the song huh? this is Daif this is Sahih, this is Daif this is you know it is not Daif wait what it is not Daif the Hadith is not Daif this is a proven story and the reference is all over so Muhammad he agree with the Quran why Muslims they lie and they say oh this is from the eye perspective this is not what Allah is saying so the, the verse saying clearly he reached the sitting place of the Sun how in the world you can reach that place I can reach that when I am sitting in my ass right now from my window I will see the Sun set in a few hours I do not need to go anywhere right yeah okay so this is a lie not only that look what happened what about a few verses after here the same story and then he changed the road he took different uh, different highway okay now till when he reached the rising place of the Sun what the heck is that do you see it yeah okay how he reached the rising place of the Sun what is that you tell me help me I'm listening <laughs> I don't know okay and then he found it rising that's a discovery I mean he never saw this before he reached the place where the Sun rises. this is the, the garage of the Sun <laughs> okay so now what we learn from this you're a prophet he made it clear he the Sun goes and prostrate itself under a throne but the throne is where do you know where the throne is is where based on what all what we said to you the throne of Allah is above the water. Do you agree with that? Oh, uh, well, you're gonna, uh, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, I guess so. Actually, let us confirm that so people will not say we are making things up, you know? And here's a throne is above the water. Do you see it? Hold on. This throne was upon water. Hmm? Yeah, I see that. Okay, so that 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 complete the image for us. So now, if we wanna if we wanna draw the image based on all of this, Quran and the Hadith, both of them they confirm one thing. 
that there yeah. is there is let us see a bigger space here okay so what Muhammad is trying to say to us that the Sun every day go and sleep under the throne of Allah there's a there's a water here and the water is muddy let us uh, take off this thing so people can see better hold on okay yeah so here there is here is here there is a water and this water is muddy boiling water actually in Arabic it says hamia not only it's muddy it's boiling okay so here there is a muddy brown water and now the Sun will come from the East every day and then will go down in the muddy water and then the throne of Allah is above and we will make the throne of Allah blue to make you happy this is the throne of Allah so the Sun goes every day from this point to this point and for sure this is absolutely scientist scientifically correct there's a scientist his name Yama I do lie Yama from Japan very well known he agree with that you're joking right I, I don't know I mean Muslims they quote for us name of scientists to prove a point which is a lie scientists even we never heard of them and even some of them they are exist but never said what they said so how in the world this is can be the book of God my friend here we go Muhammad says Allah said the Prophet said Allah said okay how he is a prophet of Allah and this Allah is funny How this is can be from God? I mean, honestly, my friend, I don't know what's your name. What's your name, by the way? Angelo. Okay. How in the world do you want to stay as a Muslim? Be honest with me. After all of this, you still think you are a Muslim? Well, you know. And the way it was presented to me was like uh, you know the one true God and uh, of all the prophets and uh, you know um, I don't really know anything about all this but like when you're showing it to me now it's okay. like confusing everything like, okay so you want to be still as a Muslim well I just I want to understand like uh, I mean, come on, my friend. Listen, you are what, you are a, you, you, are, you, you, are, you are you are. Are you like a certain sect of Christianity? Uh, hold on, I'm not. I don't follow a sect. I follow I follow Christ. I don't follow a sect. Why am I for a sect? You're not uh, like you're not Catholic. I don't care about all those names. I care for following my Lord, my friend. So, like, you know, like Jesus when he said to pray, like, how do we have justification that we're supposed to pray to Jesus? But what do you mean? Like, how do you know you're supposed to pray to Jesus, or like? How I know what? You're supposed to pray to Jesus. I sub. I don't understand the word. Can you say it slowly, one? How How do you know you're supposed to pray to Jesus? How I know? Okay. Yeah. Then Jesus said, uh, uh, "Come to me, knock at my door, and I will open for you. Ask me, I will answer you. Every two, every two of you, mention my name. I will be, I will be between you. And that is clear proof that he is an etern eternal living God. Because how he can do that? There's three, four billion human Christians." And imagine now me and you we are talking about his name he is going to listen to us that's impossible for a human being so he says it clearly you pray to me not everyone says to me God God will enter the kingdom of my father but the one who do his will so now my friend before we talk about Jesus do you announce yourself you are out of Islam um. <laughs> Uh, that would be kind of a big thing here. Um, why, why a big thing? My friend, you, listen, you are a person, God, he gave him a gift. It's called a brain. And I, your brain was functioning. So now your brain will stop? Be honest with me. All what we said to you, is there enough proof that this is, cannot be from God? You know, uh, I, I'm not going to lie. I was, um, I was raised uh, a Catholic, but... Um, I didn't know anything about like those verses that you showed me and everything like that. Okay. So like I don't need you to explain to me uh like 
anything about like the crucifix or anything. I understand that, but like what draw me towards Islam was like, uh, you know, in Catholicism, there's like, you know, you have the rosary and you have things like that. My, my friend so, Muhammad, you have a rosary. Who said you don't? Look what the rosary uh, of Muhammad. You see, you see the problem. With my respect to you. I'm not. I'm not insulting by the by the way. You see, I am ignorant in English. Nothing wrong with that, right? I mean, all of us we have some yeah. ignorance somehow. I can say a word sometimes. I say it funny. People laugh at me, but that will not be a problem, you know. Uh, uh, but here we talk about God, which we cannot be ignorant about God. Muhammad he did took the rosary too from the Christians. He have he said to you, if you say the word of Allah thirty three times, you go to heaven. Allah forgive your sin. And then he says the name of his God is 99, which is the rosary, three stones plus three, 30, 30, uh, 30. 33 is the age of Jesus. If you if you look at the rosary, have a three, a three stones. And then have 30 stones. That do you, the age, that do you the age accept of Jesus. that? I, I know this is what Islam is about. I'm not, you see, once I say, I sit with the sheikh, long beard. I mean, this, this guy, look, I did not shave his beard for maybe for 15 years. He is an old. I really, I, I respected this guy. He is a look very decent, and he have a rosary in his hand. And I sat next to him. You know, we were visiting like a castle, and I said to him, "Salamu alaikum, uncle." He said, "Alaikum salam." He said, "What is this rosary with you?" He said, uh, "To praise Allah." I said, "Where do you get this from?" He said, "What do you mean?" He said, "Like you Muslims, where do you get this rosary from?" He said, "I don't know. I, you know, we do. I took it." From grandfather, all of us we do that. I said, Isn't it Jesus? He has the age of 33 years in earth. He said, Yes. Isn't it Jesus? He spoke that the, according to Christians, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. He said, Yes. He said, I said, Count the words, count the count the stones. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and then the 33 years of the age of Jesus. That is your rosary. You are praying, you are you are copying from the Christians without knowing. And this is the same as Muslims. Muhammad is nothing but a thief. Everything he have is a theft. The story of Alexander the Great, the sunset in murky water, is a story written by a Syrian person, Syrian, not a Syrian, Syrian person who wrote a fictional story about Zulkarnain. The story of the cave is a story written, a fictional story written by a, 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 a Syrian bishop, a Ramek bishop, about how the Christians are humiliated and later will be victorious. Muhammad took it, put it in the Quran. Everything Muhammad he have is a theft. So my friend, I want you to be honest with me. Today, this moment is a moment of salvation. I'm asking you, are you brave enough to say the truth that there is no way that this is from God? Well, I know that those, what you showed me, uh, like about the sun and everything like that, that stuff's not true. Okay, if, no. if, if, one, um, if one only one thing in the Quran, not from God, that means the Quran is not from God. What about satanic verses? What about nobody have authority over my followers? What about Muhammad being bewitched? What Muhammad imagined himself having sex, but in fact he did not. I mean, come on. What about the, 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 the sperm coming from the backbone? What about the sperm coming from the ribs? What about whoever have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy? I mean, I can count for you endless. All of this will not make you say, I am out of his now. I just I don't I don't know what else what like what um path would I go down if it's not Islam you know like just like let me ask you let me, let me do it. let us say Christianity is false Islam is false uh, Judaism is false that is not no, I know it's was, either Islam or Christianity you know, I, know I am saying to you I'm giving you an example I'm saying to you that is not an excuse to stay in the false just because I do not know where to go no, I don't want to. I want the truth. This is the truth. You know? Trust me, my friend. I am not here. I studied Islam all my life, not to say to you something I do not know. I know this cult more than any Muslim ever you ever met. They try to defend the honor of the Prophet, but he is no Prophet and he have no honor. Do you know that Muhammad, even when he get married, his first wife, do you know how he married her? Uh, yeah. How? Oh, his first wife? Yeah. How? How? Khadija. No. Yeah. How? Do you know that he and, and, and his and his wife they made her father drunk? Uh no. <laughs> Have you what do you, what do you think if your daughter and her 
future husband make you drunk and then when you wake up she claimed that you married her to this guy what do you say about such a girl? okay cp cp you showed me enough but i just want to know this so like a lot of christians they don't like they don't even pray and they just say like oh you know because jesus died now i don't really have to do anything no, or, no, no 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 my friend my friend this is not true that's not true can you clarify no, for no no you see hold on, hold on you see you you don't judge jesus by a christian and you know that you know better than this correct let us yeah, say but, let know, us say for the sake, hold on hold on like, my friend you know, hold on let's be honest no 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 like let saints. us say let us say all the christian in the world they became false christian let us say all of them nobody left that will not make me not stop believing in jesus because okay don't do what they do if they don't pray pray who said to you don't pray Jesus says, if you want to pray, pray like this. He never said, don't pray. Jesus himself, he fasts. So you fast. And actually, there's millions of Christians that start, they start getting ready now to fast already. There is there's 90 days of fasting in every, every church in the world, especially those who they call themselves Orthodox. So who said there's no fasting? Who said there's no prayer? Who said there's no don't pray? This is not true. And I cannot judge Jesus by someone. He is a drug dealer. Or by a woman, she is a whore. This is not fair. We judge God by God Himself. We judge Jesus by Jesus, not by Christian prince. What if a Christian prince is a bad person? What I have to do with Jesus? I am not Jesus. And I have no even clothes to be like Him. So, you as an honest person, you have to know, and you know better, that we judge. I judge Muhammad by Muhammad. I don't judge Muhammad by Osama bin Laden, by the way, because. If Osama bin Laden is doing what Muhammad he said and he did, then Osama bin Laden is just a follower. Right? So, if you want to judge a Christian, how do you, what Jesus said? He said, you know them from their fruits. Correct? Yeah. Okay. The fruits is going to decide if you are a Christian or not, not your name, not your birth. Yeah. So, my friend, do you accept the fruit of Jesus and reject the fruit of Muhammad? Um, okay, one more thing, one more thing. Look, um, you know, there's strong evidence that, you know, the original way the Jews used to pray was just like how the Muslims pray today. So that would have, you know, Jesus prayed that way. And along with his teaching, doesn't that go more with Islam, though? My friend, let, 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 why don't Christians pray hold that on, way? Hold anymore? on, hold on. You are smarter than this. Listen, to, let me tell you something. If I now create a cult and I copy how the Jews they pray, does it does does that make me a religion? Does that make no, me? No, I'm not saying. Okay. okay, no, no. Even See, if you put, Jesus even if you put Islam no, Jesus, to the Jesus, side, Jesus, oh, I don't Christians no, hold, pray that my way. My friend, anymore. my friend. First of all, Jesus did not spend. They don't pray like the, the the Jews, and the Jews don't pray like Muslims. When the Jews they pray, they lay down in the ground. Do the Muslims they down on the ground? No. Okay, so this is the, they're not the same. Secondly, let me show you something proving Muhammad to be a false prophet. Read with me this. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay, read it for us, please. Um, oh, hold on, sorry. The Messenger of Allah used to stand up for a funeral until the corpse was placed in the grave. A learned Jew once passed him and said, this is how we do the prophet sat down and said, sit down and act differently from them. Is that a prophet of God, you think? Be honest with me. A Jewish guy, he walked by, he said, this is how we do it. This is a song, you know it. This is how we do it. <laughs> and then Muhammad said right away, sit down, sit down, sit down, act differently. If this is how they do it and this is the right way, who care? You change the way you pray. Just because a guy, he said, this is how we do it? What do you mm. think? Obviously, this guy is a liar. Because if this is the way to do it, and this is how God taught him to do it, then why in the world want to change it? So what? Isn't it the Muslim they say that we have the same God, and so it's normal to pray the same together, the same prayer? No. Muhammad, you don't like that. Muhammad, in a second, he changed the way the prayer is. Just because a guy walked by and he is a rabbi, and it says here, it says here, read carefully with me. 
and uh, yeah. uh, when uh, uh, a Jewish, a Jewish, a learned Jew, a learned Jew is a rabbi. Yeah. Okay. So because of a rabbi, imagine to me, I am a Christian, and I'm yeah. praying as Jesus said to me to pray, and then a Jewish guy, he says to me. This is how we do it. I say, oh, 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 I'm not going to do it like this no more because this is how they do it. Obviously, they get me busted. I am copying them. This is why he ordered them to change immediately because he felt guilty. Obviously, the Jew, according to Muhammad, how this is how he feel it. The Jew, he got me busted. I'm copying them. Mm. This is why he changed it. He changed it right when the guy came in back. the second it did not the guy did not even pass I mean the angel did not come to him say hey hello okay do it differently in a second who is who are you to change it so that's mean the way he was praying all this time was wrong so what do you say my friend I invite you right now to denounce the devil and his religion which is Islam and to accept the Messiah as your savior yeah that's what I'm unsure about I accept him hallelujah Thanks. hallelujah May the Lord bless you, my friend, and bless your family, and bless all your wife, and I see, I hear people around you. May the Lord guide you and keep you in a strong faith, and don't ever let the devil, de 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 you know, deceive you again. My friend, the devil, he come to the good hearts, from the good windows sometimes. The Lord, the Messiah, he said, he come to you, they come to you, in a close of a sheep, but they are wolves. And this is what Islam is about, is nothing but a wolf. I'm so happy for you. Look at the chat. The chat is boiling. There's a thousand three hundred people. They are praising the Lord for your salvation, my friend. What do you want to say to them? Thanks for your prayers, guys. Thank you very much. I'm really happy to have you. May the Lord really bless us all by by blessing you, because a blessing will be for all of us. For all of us, we shared in saving a person who really was lost with such a stupid cult, and how in the world we can follow such a cult. Please pray for me, everyone. Pray for we, my strength. Absolutely, hey, everybody. Please pray for for our friend here. Uh, you said your uh, your name is Angelo. Yes, Angelo. Please, all of you, pray for our brother here, Angelo, for his salvation, for his family, for guidance, so the Lord will strengthen him with his with his faith. There is no way we can compare between light and darkness. There is no way. It's an insult to compare between the the Christ, the Messiah, and Muhammad. Someone. He is very savage, very bad. Even his followers accuse him to be still in underwear. And then we compare him to someone like the Messiah. How in the world we can leave the light and we'll throw the darkness. Jesus says, I am the light. I am the truth. I am the beginning. I am the, the end. I am who I am, God said to Moses. I am. So my friend, you are with the Lord who nobody can defeat. And if the Lord is with me, who could be against me? Happy for you, Angelo. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Anything else, my friend? No, that's it. Um, I'll message you on Skype if I have anything else. But you thank you so much. You are welcome. And say, say, uh, I apologize if I say anything that was harsh. And say hi to your your wife if she is your wife there. I heard somebody speaking to you. Yeah, yeah. Hi. She said, okay. All right. Well, happy for all the family there. I'm sure she is happy too. Yes, yeah. she is. She's All right. Glory to the Lord. Glory to the Lord. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Take care. Uh, they expose the lies of Muhammad and uh, learn how to be tough on this cult. And tough mean to be bold. To say it as it is not as they want not politically correct being politically politically correct is an illness is a weakness is somebody 
he is hiding something. Even for us to say something. So if you are a Christian, say things as it is. Yes, we love the Muslims. It doesn't mean we will let the Muslim die and go to hell. Loving the Muslims is saving the Muslims. It's not the opposite. So when somebody, he says to you, uh, that you are speaking rude, this is not how a Christian should be speaking. A true Christian is the one who say things as it is, and that will make it true for sure.